Welcome back to Ron Paul Flex News for June 8, 2012. I am your host, Israel Anderson. And yes, Israel Anderson now has dreadlocks. So with that out of the way, Ron Paul concedes the Republican nomination. He said this in an email that he sent out yesterday, or the day before, sorry. And while we do not have enough delegates to win the nomination, it puts us in a tremendous position to grow our movement and shape the future of the GOP. And I would add to that and our entire government. And that's what this show is all about. Because Ron Paul has not given up and it's making me really upset to see some of you, not all of you, but some of you, saying that Ron Paul has sold out, that he's just given up. Ron Paul is utterly exhausted right now. For 30 years full time, he has fought for liberty in this nation of ours, and he takes a break after working for a year and a half on this campaign trail, slaving his butt off. Give the man a break. He needs one, okay? Let's look at this. Winning the presidency would have been good, but you know what's more important? Taking over the GOP. And even more important than taking over the GOP is every electable position in this country. From top to bottom, from sheriff to dog catcher, we need to take over every aspect of government in this country. This includes all GOP and Democratic Party positions. We cannot just take over the GOP. There are many blue Republicans in this movement that have joined this cause because they are totally upset with Barack Obama and the dealings of the Democratic Party. It is up to you as a Democrat who may have changed his voting registration to Republican just so you could vote for Ron Paul in these primaries. It it is up to you to re-register as a Democrat and run for your party's positions all across your state. It is absolutely imperative we don't just focus on the GOP, but the Democratic Party as well. We need senatorial, representative, and state and federal offices at all levels of government. So it doesn't matter whether it's your, your state legislature, you need to run for office there. Whether you think you're able to run for a federal office, either senatorial or representative, do it. Remember, there's other things as well. You're not ready to run for office, then fine. Then get an internship with somebody who is. Even if you disagree with their politics, get a foot in the door. It is time for us to completely take over every aspect of politics in this country. The president relies on the rest of government to act on his behalf. What does that mean? That means that if that government is made up of liberty-minded individuals like you and I, we, we cause the president to be powerless. We hold the power instead of the president. We've been saying all along, a constitutional president doesn't have that much power. Then why, why the rabid focus on the office of the president and getting so upset when we, it's obvious we are not going to win this Republican nomination. So what? We're not going to bring liberty back to this country by winning the presidency alone. We are going to have to take back every local and state office electable position that there is. And so we need to do this. Every single one of us needs to investigate all open electable positions for 2012 and take them. Guess what? Guess what? Many electable positions have remained unfilled for years. Why? Because people are completely politically apathetic. All the people in politics are 50 plus. It's time for us to go down um, to our county clerk's office to find out um, what these positions are and take them back. We don't take back our country through the presidency, but through sheriffs and dog catchers. So what you need to do is inject liberty into every nook and cranny of our nation's politics and we create a force of liberty more powerful than any president in American history. If we had every single, uh, well not even every single, if we had a, a great percentage, 20, 30, 40% of every electable position in this nation, the power of the presidency will be forced to drop because he's going to be held accountable to a massive force of people that believe in freedom and liberty. Ron Paul has not given up. He's taken a much needed rest. And you can rest assured that in the near future we'll be hearing a lot more from our champion. In fact, he had this to say, our revolution is just getting started. You'll be hearing plenty from me as we approach Tampa and the fall elections. So now, Dr. Paul is done. 
what he has been called to do. That is create a cornerstone of liberty in this nation. And he's done that. The, the number of people that are involved in this liberty movement compared to last election, which I was completely and heavily involved in as well, is three, four, maybe even five times the number of people we had just four years ago. Think of where we will be in four years from now if we continue. Imagine if our numbers quadrupled in another four years and quadrupled. We're talking about exponential growth. We are talking about taking back our country. This is absolutely so important. Ron Paul has done the, the Paul Revere thing. He's ridden through the streets declaring that there is problem. The enemy is coming. Now, most people are asleep in this clever little cartoon here by Ben Garrison. If you haven't seen it, it's, uh, I've just posted it to the Ron Paul Flicks Facebook page. Share this around. It's a terrific little image. But now it's time for us. We must do what we have been called to do, and that is continue this revolution. So uh, this is what Thomas Paine said. These are the times that try men's souls. The summer soldier and the sunshine patriot will end this crisis. In this crisis, losing the Republican nomination, in this crisis, shrink from the service of their country. But he that stands by it now deserves the love and admiration of man and woman. I don't know why this quote says thanks. I'm sure the original said admiration. I've read this so many darn times, I know. Tyranny like hell is not easily conquered, yet we have this consolation with us, that the harder the conflict, the more glorious the triumph. What we obtain too cheap, we esteem too lightly. It is dearness, it is cost, it is value only that gives everything its value. Thomas Paine. So don't complain about losing the Republican nomination. Instead, go to your county clerk's office, find electable positions. You hear what I said? This is really simple. So many positions haven't had anybody running for them for years and years and years. You can literally walk in and win these positions uncontested. Uncontested. They will, if, if you're clever enough and you apply at the last possible moment, the GOP and the Democrats will not put up a candidate against you because they will be completely caught off guard. Go down to your county clerk's office, find the electable positions that are open, find the electable positions that are weak, that people are unhappy with, but nobody's gonna oppose them because they've been there for 20, 30 years. Oppose them, run against them. I will promote you on this show. I will make sure the people in your area know who you are, that you're running for that office, and I will help you win it. Please subscribe, favorite, thumbs up, comment, and share this around. You can follow us on Twitter at Ron Paul Flex. You can find us on Facebook, Ron Paul Flex. You can support us here. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Oh, I was supposed to talk about Rand Paul, wasn't I? Rand Paul is a complete and utter sellout and traitor to this movement and to his father's legacy. Or is he? Watch the next show. Let's talk about it.